You look great. Have you done something to your hair? Your teeth look wiser. Your jaw looks stronger. Have you been working out? That shirt is amazing. Your hair is fantastic. I will be the mother to all of your children. Harmony, Millie, please. Your compliments are not unflattering, but truthfully, it's just such a pleasure to be back here amongst all of your wonderful faces. His name is Miles Standoffers, and he is a big damn hero. After leaving the group, Miles walked the globe, stopping off in the Arctic to help rehabilitate tragic penguins who had become addicted to tap dancing and methamphetamines. His work complete, Miles wanted no reward greater than a fine cup of Yorkshire tea, which he drank on the moon. He is the greatest human who ever has lived. Especially after all that unpleasantness with Phil. <laughs> When you blocked me on Facebook, it was as if a steel fist punched me straight through the heart. Oh, Max. Let's not let our real-world friendship be tainted by these virtual relations. I missed my friends, and your incessant blogging reminded me of that which I had so tragically lost. Oh. Uh. So, who's the fifth? Uh, what? This can't happen. I can't be the fifth. I was here first. Actually... He left! Does that not reset his stats or something? Or does his awesome hair grant him some sort of immunity? I hate how awesome his hair is. Makes me want to chew it. Right off his smug head. I checked with the book of Tabula Law and according to Millie, this is all above board. Give me that. I know contracts. There's got to be a loophole here somewhere. Miles submitted the paperwork for an ELOAD TTOSI. What? An extended leave of absence due to tear on shirt incident. You guys actually have an acronym for that. Yeah, Miles had three months to return to the group and reclaim his rightful place without contest, unless... Unless? Uh, nah, it never worked. Forget I said anything. It, this isn't the loophole you're looking for. This isn't the loophole I'm looking for. No! Not that again! Look, this is all I've got. I, I mean, it's not all I've got. I mean, I've got macrame on Wednesdays, but it's been moved to Tuesdays now, so I can't really make it. Look, just tell me what to do! Last week on Live Journal, you posted about how sad this all is. You called us the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Nerd Club Band, which doesn't even make sense. Besides, who uses Live Journal nowadays? Come on, you guys weren't supposed to see that. Harmony didn't see it, did she? Did you wake up missing any toes? No. Well, there's your answer. Just tell me what to do. Here. Sweet bejeebus, I'm doomed. I told you it wouldn't work. In order to claim my place in the group and have Miles declared a fifth, everyone has to like me better. You got my vote, buddy. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Uh, Sam's looking to push through a vote of most awesomeness. All right. In his favour. Right. Against Miles. <laughs> I have a plan. You didn't have to laugh at him! What? I'm mad at him. He insulted us using Beatles-related humour. Yeah, I know, but ooh, you saw that. What, and he's still bipedal? Well, he's in a bad place, so he gets three strikes. No strikes for you! Yeah. 
And that's how I saved a family of disabled rhinoceri from a polar bear in the mountains of Indonesia while flying aid parcels to blind sea turtles. Well, I wouldn't give to be a blind turtle. Hmm? Nothing. You should write a book. Where's the fifth at? He seems like an all right guy, Noel, but he's no Phil. Phil was the best. We should get him back. <laughs> Non-crying Phil. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. No! What's that, Maximus? You walked out on us, Miles! You just strolled out with your James Dean swagger, your small, firm buttocks wiggled through the door, and you never looked back. Life's too short for buttock jealousy and regret, Max. Yeah, and I don't want to regret having sent my best friend in the whole world out there to be eaten by the wolves of rejection. <sighs> I'm sorry, Max, but sometimes when you speak, it's almost like I can hear soaring music in the background. Miles, in his infinite wisdom, did submit the correct paperwork for his load. Wow. Hey guys, I've been thinking, we all got off on the wrong foot. For the last six weeks. <laughs> Harmony, you're so funny. <laughs> so anyway, I've got you all some presents. For Max, sugary cocktail goodness. <laughs> Ooh, coconutty. For Harmony, we have rum and tequila meat. Hell's yeah! For Miles, we have gin straight with a carrot in it. Because you look like that kind of guy. If that guy looks amazing doing this, I am so that guy. And for Millie, we have non-alcoholic pineapple yuminous. Yay! Sam, how did you have time to do all of this? Let's not dwell on that! I've just bought the new Kingdom of Rain expansion pack. Let's all get wet! <laughs> because of the name of the game. Kingdom of Rain, not sexually wet, obviously. And so, our brave heroes embarked on a most epic quest to get completely shit-faced, to laugh in the face of sobriety, and to punch rational thinking square in the parts. Will they succeed? Who will live? And who will die? My money's on Sam, because, well, look at him. The guy's clearly completely falling apart. Looks like he's been sleeping in a homeless person's sock. The souls around the castle, at night and around.